Okay, I just stumbled upon this incredible M3U playlist for free TV channels worldwide. Like, how cool is that? Wait, seriously. An entire playlist of free channels. That's wild. What kind of channels are we talking about? Everything from local over-the-air channels to international options. It's like a treasure trove of content. So are these channels streaming live? I mean, that could really change how we watch TV. Exactly, you just point your IPTV player to a link and boom, free streaming. It's like cutting cable but better. But how do they ensure all these channels are actually free? It seems too good to be true. That's the catch. They focus on channels that are officially free in their respective countries, not just anything goes. Ah, uh, that makes sense. They're aiming for quality over quantity, right? So no random obscure channels. Exactly, they only include channels that work well and are mostly in HD. No adult or niche channels either. Wow, I like that philosophy. It's like curating a playlist for your favorite tracks, but for TV. Right, and think of the implications. It democratizes access to entertainment globally. Totally, but how do they manage to keep everything updated? That seems like a big task. Good point. They rely on community contributions and source updates from various platforms like YouTube. That makes sense, but what if a channel goes down or changes? Is there a system for that? Yes, they encourage users to report issues, which is quite efficient for maintaining the playlist. Speaking of channels, do they have restrictions on what types they can include? Absolutely, they avoid anything commercial or subscription-based. Only mainstream channels are allowed. Interesting, it keeps things accessible, but does that limit the variety? It could, but it also means everything included is more likely to be watched by everyone. That's a fair trade-off. Also, I wonder how they handle geo-blocking if channels are restricted regionally. Great question, they mark those channels so users know which ones are geo-blocked. So if I'm in the U.S., I'd be aware that some channels might not be accessible. Exactly, it keeps expectations clear. Plus, a lot of users are contributing to keep it updated. How do you even contribute to something like this? Is it complicated? Not at all. You just create a pull request on GitHub with details about the channel. Sounds manageable, but what if I want to remove a channel? Is that a hassle? Nope, just provide proof that it's subscription only. They make it straightforward. That's pretty user-friendly. But I do wonder about the long-term sustainability of this. That's a valid concern. They rely on active community participation, which can fluctuate. True. If interest wanes, will the playlist suffer? It's a risk. Exactly. And with so many other streaming options, it's a challenge to stay relevant. But the idea of free, accessible content is appealing. It's almost revolutionary. For sure, it could reshape how people view media consumption and access. And think about the implications for creators. More exposure for local talent. Absolutely, it's a double-edged sword, though. More content means more competition. Right, but it could push creators to innovate more. A healthy creative ecosystem. Exactly. So do you think this could become a mainstream option for viewers? If it maintains quality and relevance, it could really disrupt traditional cable models. That's exciting to think about, but let's not forget about the challenges. Definitely. Balancing quality, accessibility, and sustainability will be key. So true, I guess the real question is, how far can this go? And what barriers do we need to overcome to make it a reality for everyone? Right, it's a fascinating journey to watch unfold. I'm definitely curious. Same here. I can't wait to see how this evolves. It's just the tip of the iceberg.